Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Crypto Marco yet again with another awesome video on the topic of cryptocurrencies. And today I have a very special guest. Guest, it's Aikut from Electra, a very interesting coin in my opinion. And today we are gonna talk about Electra. Um, Aikut, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, Marco. <laughs> okay, amazing. So Aikut, thank you very much for coming here. Thank you very much, Marco, for inviting for this interview. Really yes. Appreciate for that. Yes. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. Um, so, I could um, tell me what is Electra? Um, Electra, um, you know, Electra is a cryptocurrency which has been developed during April 2017 by one of the lead developer, and. The aim for this is to find some solution for especially micro payments and uh, bring some some fresh bread, bread to crypto market uh, mm -hmm. for transactions. Mm -hmm. uh, in this is this is a very raw in glance uh, what uh, Electra is aiming. And um, the, let's say the birth of Electra started during April uh, 2017, but we started establishing the community during uh, August 2017 by talking with the developer and some people on the forum. Mm -hmm. So that is the, the, also the second birth of uh, Electra is, we can say, around August 2017. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, uh, we we can just follow your questions if if you have some, or I can just tell one by one about some some let's say some features, some specifications. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whatever you want. We'll do it however you're comfortable with. Um, I think uh, one of my next track question would have been uh, what's the function of Electra, but I think but I think that you will uh, go into that anyway. Yeah, the the function is will uh, is in principle, which we say. Um, the aim is to provide a solution for the micro payments with low fees mm -hmm. and fast transactions. Um, during the beginning, the NIST 5 algorithm has been selected as a solution that was to help during the PO stage, uh, during the mining stage, that it's uh, really efficient comparing to all several algorithms and was enough secure against all. Uh, that's a, a, in fact a competition which is being held um, by the U.S. Uh, National of Standards Institute. Mm -hmm. And uh, apart from this, it's been selected as NIST 5 algorithm to move on. And, yeah, I've uh, seen it. It won an award. Yeah. Um, so we see um, when he, at the moment... Um, Electra is in the post stage because the poll is ended and the post stage is ongoing. Um, the maximum supply we have is a 30 billion uh, mm -hmm. Electra coins. And the now the circulating supply is around 23 billion uh, Electra coins. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, um, in principle, uh, we can say in glance, at glance, first glance, uh, this is the Electra. Okay. And uh, what are some things that make Electra different or that are maybe, you know, special USPs from Electra? Well, this specialty is the, uh, let's say, at the, what we said at the beginning is the, is the NIST algorithm. But uh, what we believe for any project on the, on the crypto market, we respect all of them. Mm -hmm. the, the most important is the community, the community support. That makes the Electra at the moment powerful. The most powering, empowering uh, point is the, um, the community, which supports us, which gives us all the time. The hands, uh, they put their hands on their stone and they help us. Uh, we continuously grow the development team because this is a community project with which we are telling from the beginning. There is no CEO, there is no managers who decide on something. That's amazing. We, 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 we make all the decisions on consensus based. Um, we have several channels. We have several community ch channels. Mm -hmm. um, let me give you an example that, for example, in one of our Telegram channel, we have around 30 admins, 30 mods not like two to three or five mods. 
because we continue to add people because they are managing the community. They are from the community. We are trying to keep the community, the, we are trying to keep a healthy environment in the community who supports us. And for that, we are working. Uh, each week we receive more and more supporters who are willing to help support us during development. Uh, either this is technically or administrative, like uh, marketing or uh, communication affairs. So this this is amazing. This this is this is the one of the biggest part and uh, say point uh, why we are um, that much honored to be member of this 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 project. This is amazing. This is amazing, which I can say. Yeah, so it's a real blockchain uh, technology. I mean, uh, blockchain democracy, to, so to say. So no CEO and everybody's equal in your team. That's what you said, right? Exactly. This this is what we what we tell all the time. We we always tell the the community, please make a consensus, agree on something. Some some admins are bringing new rules. Uh, we say, okay, if the community is um, convenient with that. If they will support it, please just go and apply because this is your project. This is not a project um, belonging to a couple of people or some certain group. This is the community project. That's why we ask all the members to contribute. Even uh, putting a dot, uh, making a small correction sentence in, a, in the roadmap or something mm -hmm. like that. This is contribution that we respect uh, and that we appreciate uh, to all members. Mm -hmm. That's that that is the amazing and that's why uh, what we think that Eka will live um, forever as long as we have this support from the community. Okay, um, you mentioned uh, the roadmap earlier, so um, I currently have uh, am looking at the roadmap. So can you tell me like uh, the gist of the most important things that you have planned for Electra in the next few years? What's like important to you what are some milestones and what has already been achieved in okay. the roadmap okay um here's the thing again uh, we want to be a um, real solution for the market during transactions uh, and online merchants and for this we are focusing yes we will have several features like many other currencies currency projects but we don't want to be only a a cryptocurrency project to be traded on exchanges. That's why uh, we are focusing at the moment for uh, merchant, online merchant payment systems very much. Uh, during this, we will also uh, empower the, 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 the code and our systems with some possible tools like uh, privacy uh, option to uh, wallets where the users uh, will take this option to 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 get benefits from this mm -hmm. or master notes which is demanding all the time so we just explained our uh, community that we will provide it soon uh, with the upcoming time during the upcoming upcoming time yeah, uh, web wallet is one of the swaps up there yeah we and uh, web wallet which is uh, requested by the network as well which mm -hmm. we promised them that will come up also, Atomics Web, which we believe this is one of the future, um, let's say, the future steps of the cryptocurrencies. And that's why we uh, also started uh, and promised uh, Atomics Web future to be included in our uh, roadmap, uh, which you can see just uh, inside it. Um, payment gateways, this is the, the majority which we focus because uh, a currency or an asset is only valuable when you use it mm -hmm. in True. real time. Yes. Um, for that reason, uh, the community decided to open a, a side by project like Electra Pay, uh, which we proud to announce. We announced it. Um, this is really uh, fascinating, uh, exciting project where we would uh, provide API uh, for payment gateways like for Magento or Shopify or BigCommerce or WooCommerce in the upcoming times. The Magento is already started, it's on the way. Once we will finalize it, we will disclose it with the community that we completed it. So um, these online merchant uh, merchants, they will be able to start using Electra as payment gateway as an option to their other payment systems. 
Okay, I see. So pretty much the community is also heavily involved when it comes to the roadmap. Exactly, because, um, for example, the team who are team members, this is also a coming up qu question. The team is, in fact, more than 20, 30 people. What we have listed there on our website is only a very small part of them. We will put more and more people there, but uh, it doesn't demonstrate the real team because we have a lot of people working at the moment. Mm -hmm. We have some special channels where they can keep uh, working uh, quietly without getting, getting affected to several questions and they are continuously working and they are updating our GitHub account as well. Mm -hmm. um, so um, everything is in progress, we can say. And uh, on our roadmap, uh, we achieved a couple of uh, promises, which is coming from the past already and which is at the moment for the Q1, Q2, Q3 and Q4 as well. Mm -hmm. For example, the Q1, we we promised our guys, one, our, 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 our members, uh, one question was why your GitHub is not updated since several months. Now okay. we, they can see almost each day or two days, sometimes hourly, hourly basis, they can see updates. Now we have a team account there. Uh -huh. It's uh, much more, let's say, bringing people as a team there, making a collective working, some workshops, making brainstorming, um, getting ideas from uh, out of box thinkers, making them together, asking the possibility, finding the, the right resource and starting uh, development. This is what we go at the moment, how we go. Okay, so a uh, GitHub team account sounds pretty cool. That's something that I haven't heard of uh, from other cryptocurrencies. Um, yeah. I mean, not every cryptocurrency has something like that. It's yeah. really important for transparency and being open source. And uh, right now I'm looking at your team page. Um, so I can see you and many other team members. And yeah. uh, I think that you mentioned, I mean, I have seen it, that all of these people who work on Electra are um, working, are, um, how do you call it again? Um, volunteers who work all, on the project. Yeah, exactly. All are working volunteers and the, the, the people you see here, is only a part of the team. I mean, we have more than 20 people working on the projects. Uh, maybe, right, maybe around maybe 25 to 30, I can say even. But it will increase because we always call people to help us, to bring us new ideas. And we receive also contacts in that way because mm -hmm. our members, they are contacting us. I have these skills and that skills. Uh, what can I do for you? Some are coming for translation, some are coming with the PHP or uh, web infrastructure, some are coming with designs or video making promotions. This, this is really proud. I mean, this is something fascinating. This is what a decentralized uh, project goes, how it works. This is uh, how it works, really, a, a real case we, we have in front of us. Okay, um, something else that's very important for uh users of cryptocurrencies is of scalability fees and also speed so yeah. when it comes to speed and of course also the fees um, what can you tell me how many uh, transactions per second is electra capable of doing and how fast are the transactions um what we have in the in our hand because um we have our systems already we have the we have an excellent working blockchain we can say there uh, we compared with several blockchains on the market and at the moment almost with zero uh, error it's working that's very pretty fine but we didn't made a lot of uh, several tests at the moment yes uh, at the moment Electra is pretty much fast we can see it uh, we will make more and more faster but around about the transaction speed we don't have a, a reliable data at the moment we didn't need, do this a stress test uh, we aim to make it soon as soon as we we just complete a couple of steps because we know this is this is important for the industry people want to know um, the, the the actual let's say uh, figures there but we will just provide all these information to people coming to fees uh, that's quite pre pretty much low uh, comparing to the industry the other projects is at the moment around 0.001 ECA is the round. Even 
can be sent with less uh, fees that we are very sure so almost but nothing pretty much uh, almost nothing we can say yes this is this is very clear mm -hmm. so um, whatever it comes we will improve all the tools which we have at the moment we don't stand only there okay Eka is the best at the moment uh, that will continue as it is no we will improve everything in time this, this is a matter of time and steps we will achieve one by one okay cool yeah because I asked because um obviously speed is very important when it comes to cryptocurrencies yes, I, and I have seen that um, on your Facebook group some people I mean many people left comments you know giving rating uh, Electra with five stars saying uh, oh my god yes. this is the first time that I did a transaction and only one second later it already arrived so yes um, speed it, it, is always it, very it, important for cryptocurrencies it, it's, it's yes you're right um, it's fast but uh, to give something proper we have to do the test which we didn't do uh, until today. Because whenever we give some information, this is also very much important for us. Whenever we give some information or promise or when, when we commit something, we have some proof about it. Something written, documentation, or some test results, anything else. Without this, we never say something. When I, so whenever you hear something from us, from the community, uh, means there's some proof behind. For example, um, when we say the shop fee or the Electra payment gateways, we have already started coding for that. There's no question about it. We can show you all the proof or some other things as well. But uh, once we will just provide all these figures to our members and the community, so they will, they will have the right facts. Yes, at the moment, uh, in operations, you can see it's fast, but we are we are now uh, avoiding to say any uh, any figures in numbers, uh, statistically. But we will do it. We will do it. No. Okay. Worries. Okay. Um, now that we have talked about all the benefits of Electra being very fast, community driven, and uh, very cheap to to send. Um, yeah. Currently, do you see still some weaknesses that you and your team have to work on that need to improve? Uh, we will do, we will do surely. For example, one of them is the confirmation time, confirmation times. We have the five minute block time. By the way, we don't compare ourselves as a community with some other currencies because everybody is on, has uh -huh. its own way. Own way. Uh, at the moment, is our block time is five minutes. This is related with the confirmations. Yes, you can also see that after you receive your ECA in your wallet, sometimes it's less than one minute uh, as a starting with the confirmation and uh, you can see confirmation is coming faster we will do improvement there as well maybe also on the block size as well but all will be subject to with the developers with our development team we have to we have to define the most um, stable working blockchain this is very important uh, we don't want to create, uh, try to create the, the, the fastest, but with the, with the most problematic system. We want to create the most optimum uh, found point, which uh, Electra works fast, secure, reliable. This is important. This is important for us because we are talking about money. Uh, we cannot risk uh, anything else at this point, but we will achieve these, uh, these points. Okay, so um, now that we're we have talked about that, um, you said that you're not comparing yourself with any other yes. cryptocurrencies, but still, yes. of course, um, it's just a fact that when it comes to cryptocurrencies, um, it's a big market, and still you have the feeling that some coins might be, you know, in the same area and uh, maybe competing in an area. So, do you mm -hmm. do you uh, view some other coins as competition or do you think that are, there are some comparable coins that could be competition for Electra? Um there are surely. I mean, we know but um, giving names we don't like at the moment. I yeah, mean, I understand. Okay. Um, this is um, just to respect all projects. Mm -hmm. We know because all the projects have really honest people working spending a lot of time and efforts and trying to achieve all the best for mm -hmm. I mean uh, for their projects okay so we respect all of them we are on our way uh, we want to achieve also the, the best this is this is clear this is sure 
and um, and this is a quite big market you know this uh, the, the global transactions this is maybe 80 uh, trillion dollars yeah uh, market. i think there's more than enough room for everybody exactly exactly that's why we just want to be a, a, a player in this game as a, as a fair player and mm -hmm. uh, we want to find our own way and we respect other our projects all uh -huh. the time and uh, when it comes to market potential, you said that, of course, and I think the same, that we're only at the beginning of cryptocurrency's potential. Um, yeah. In what market do you exactly view the most potential for Electra? Because you said um, micropayments at the beginning. So for the people who don't know, what exactly do you mean by micropayments? By micropayments, we can talk... For example, online gaming industry, this is one of the, 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 the targeted uh, market which we will go. And the commerce, online merchants, we can say. Um, because we are now um, working on this Electra Pay very much as well. Um, yeah, this I have will it bring open right us, now. Yeah, that will bring us a big power. Because um, I have to admit also one thing. Um, even the, to nowadays, each week, we receive one to two emails from several online merchants, the possibility of integrating Electra into their payment system. So you receive option. those emails? Yes, we receive all these emails. We can we can show them. We, uh, well, as told, uh, whenever we say we can show them with proof from uh, um, people or with some documentation. Mm -hmm. That that makes us more and more excited and more believe into this project. The, the potential. The potential is really big. The potential is really big. Mm -hmm. Even we are just passing some tough times with the exchanges. But once uh, everything will be sorted out, uh, we will see a big growth and demand uh, coming to Electra more than before. Okay, so I right now have Electra Pay open, and it says that it's um, the aim of this project is to facilitate direct ECA payment, I mean, ECA payments for store on popular e commerce platforms. Uh, could great. you elaborate a little bit more on Electra Pay? Electra Pay, that will be a payment gateway app. Uh, just for the for the payment systems like mm -hmm. Magento, Shopee, or Big Commerce or WooCommerce as well. Mm -hmm. uh, once we achieve this API, the, the 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 developers for payment systems they will be able to integrate Electra to their um, their their online shop or for their customers as well. They will be able to just uh, apply our our. Electra payment uh, as a as an option to their system, so we make the tools to make this process easier. Once it's been done, um, the, the the Magento example, Magento uh, developers, they will be able to integrate Electra easily mm -hmm. for their system. This is what we are aiming. We are trying to make uh, their 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 let's say their job easier at this point mm -hmm. and uh, make Electra available for, for example, Magenta, they have more than 250,000 merchants globally, worldwide. So that will be pretty much uh, the accessible to, to thousands of different stores. And uh, that means when you multiply with 10 or 1,000, let's say, it will be available to 250 million people they will be able to see Electra in front of a, a shop as a payment option. So we will get some more demand. Uh, we assume it will be really big at that time. Okay, okay, awesome. Um, so currently I have opened uh, the coin market cap and I'm looking at Electra. Um, so Electra has been around since June 9th on coin market cap. Um, could you elaborate on the growth of Electra that it has seen since the beginning, like uh, what were some special um, points in the beginning of Electra? What are some time periods that uh, maybe somebody who wants to invest in Electra should take a look at? Sure. Um, also, thank you very much. That, that is a good opportunity for us to explain. There is a glitch in the. Yeah, I thought so. A glitch yeah, in the beginning, that, right? <laughs> Because people are asking, hey, Electra, was it 80, 800 USD at, at the beginning? What happened was that it pumped yeah, it up. Yeah, looks like a glitch. No, no that was a glitch. Um, we, we we got similar thing um, two months ago, I can okay. say. Well, the, the glitch happens when between, because we don't have anything to do with it. 
when it happens between when coin market cap don't, doesn't receive proper information from the exchange at that point there's a most probably a calculation um, error is happening mm -hmm. and coin market cap continues counting this and uh, putting this into their graphs this is a problem but uh, at, that happened also during the beginning of uh, Electra, what we what we understand. Mm -hmm. During recent two months ago, uh, for example, I, I just caught uh, a glitch around 180 USD and I immediately checked the exchanges to that time. There was nothing. There is no such price. But what CoinMarketCap started to do, that's, that's what they are doing at the moment, when there is some enormous, uh, some some big change on the price, they keep it on hold. Mm -hmm. they, they, they exclude it from the calculation on their, on, their, on their system. This is newly done since for a while, I, I can understand. And they keep waiting if this is a really a price ex a change in that way or not, or because that might be a problem with the, with the API between the exchange and coin market cap, because, you know, there's are, there are all computer systems. They are just exchanging information in between. Mm -hmm. So, and they just took in a hole that uh, two months ago, that certain glitch, they, they just excluded from calculation and after half an hour, it was over and they uh, started receiving the actual dates. What happened uh, in meanwhile, NOVA exchange was the first exchange for Electra at the beginning. Um, but there was no community. I mean, uh, we started this around August which I told you. Uh, after a while, we start the community, but we received a NOAA, disc NOAA closure announcement. You may have heard about it uh, from the market. Mm -hmm. NOAA announced that they will close mostly, at least that was at, at the beginning, the first announcement, initial announcement, that they will close the uh, services. But later on, they announced that they found a new um, partner, a new investor, and they will keep continue the service during February 2018. So that means next month they will uh, reopen once again. But they temporarily paused the, the, the just um, the deposits um, to this exchange. So people could not start to get, um, let's say, trading several coins. The only it was very. Uh, with some uh, low amounts because you can withdraw your money, but you cannot deposit any money to Nova Exchange to trade. So what was left? There was a second exchange uh, for Electra. It was the coins markets. So people started to go and try it on coins markets. They opened a, a second uh, market for uh, uh, for Electra. That was at the beginning. It was Doge markets. Later on. Uh, the Bitcoin markets and finally they opened the Bitcoin markets. But what happened during December, there was a big volume, there was a big demand for Electra and uh, before they went down the server, they could not handle, handle this to volume. Electra was in top 100 on the global market cap. Uh, I don't remember, but it was around maybe 180 million or 200 million USD as a market cap. Okay. We were we were at top 100, we around 80 or 89, something like that. But coin mar uh, coins markets could not handle this volume. Well, this is normal uh, for an exchange, which is unexpected. We we can understand. So they went down. So they had some problems, I think, with the database, we assume, because they announced recently that they had a big problem with the, the, with the database coming with uh, that much big volume, uh, especially for ECA, but also not because we are not listed on the, the single coin there. There are maybe around 200 or 300 more coins there, more, uh, more coin projects. Mm -hmm. So all are affected due to this uh, downtime. And now recently they are facing, I think, uh, some more issues with the domain register. We hope, we cross the fingers that they just uh, um, cover everything together and fix everything and they come back soon that uh, we can reach also our funds. So that's a, let's say, um, a painful, yes, I know, unlucky period for all the community, mm -hmm. but 
we are not limited to coins markets mm -hmm. because uh, Eka is uh, can be traded on crypto bridge. Eka can be traded on coin house at the moment. We have applications. We are ongoing discussions with some other big exchanges as well at the moment. So uh, that's a continuous process. We will come over. Okay, so I can see that the max supply of Eka is 30 billion and currently the max supply is still not reached. So could you explain to our viewers um, how Electra coins are issued and mined? So do you use proof of work, proof of stake? How does that work? Well, at the moment, the proof of work is completed and uh, the current stage is the proof of stake. So we are in the post stage. And the post stage is the 50% annual um, is rewarded to, to ECA holders, to their wallets. This is being dependent and calculated through um, how long they keep, how much they have ECA, how much, uh, how long they don't keep um, their ECAs without touching it because there is a wallet way and the, there is a market, uh, the, the network way. Mm -hmm. So it's being calculated among those and at the end all are getting equally annual 50%. Sure, we don't know how many wallets are making this state process post stage. Uh, if there will be uh, maybe 10% uh, of the wallets we are doing this uh, post rewarding stage. It will take more time to complete the 30 billion. If there are more and more uh, wallets are staking at the moment, it will be less than a one year. We we are uh, we know we are aware of this. At the end, the maximum will be 30 billion. We will not go over it. This will avoid any inflation mm -hmm. for ECA. And uh, for the viewers among you know, for my viewers who don't know what proof of work is, important to note because. We're talking all day about cryptocurrencies and there are still people out there who don't know what proof of work or proof of stake is. So I'll explain it very yes. uh, quickly. Um, so proof of work is um, when, for example, Ethereum or Bitcoin um, need some encrypted messages to be solved and that requires a lot of computing power. So you provide that computing power and you get rewarded with a small amount of the coin you're mining for. And proof of stake is in Electra's case, for example, I assume you put co you buy coins, you put them on the official Electra wallet, and then I assume you let the wallet just stand there and be open. Is that correct? That's correct. Uh, users can also do, I mean, um, close their wallets after starting starting the staking uh, process. Mm -hmm. So it will bring them also uh, rewards after they open and wait for the reward time. But um, there's a possibility. But we ask also the, our members if they can keep their votes on that because that will bring more and more nodes to, to network. And, uh, you know, as long as you have more nodes, you have a more healthier network. Yes. So uh, our community is supporting at this point. Uh, they can do also offline uh, staking, but many people, uh, they just prefer to keep them online to help the community. That's the community power, we can say. Okay, and uh, when it comes to news partnerships about Electra, um, I currently have the Twitter account of Electra open. Um, is the Twitter account the best source for news or on Electra or where can people see what's happening to Electra, what kind of partners Electra has and so on? Exactly. Um, the Twitter account, we try to release the most important uh, announcements for there. Uh, there. That will be the one stop, uh, let's say, uh, the, 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 the right exact um, announcement resource. To be taken seriously because we take really care about what we what we what we just released what we announced there beside that we have active communities like on discord or on telegram or uh, facebook as well uh, we share there as well as secondary um, we use them as secondary resources but the, the major releases or important announcements that will be always made through our Twitter account that we much we, we care uh, very much about it. 
Okay, so I think right now from my side, I think that I have, I mean, I have covered all the important questions that were important for me to know um, about Electra because I think it's one of those uh, small coins that are still underrated and that, that could go yes. up. Yes. Um, <laughs> yeah, so is there anything else that you want to add at the end that maybe I have not asked that is important uh -huh. to you? Yeah, yeah, there, there are a couple of points more, but uh, that uh, we may have to clarify. Um, during our uh, development, I mean, after the Electra uh, developed, uh, we received a call from a couple of uh, people from the industry that there was another project, and uh, there was an, another uh, ICO project, which was which was similar to Electra, but it was with K, um, like Kingdom not Electra with C, but Electra with K. Okay. So that was unfortunately a scam project, but okay. people mix, mixed it up, unfortunately. We made several announcements, even before that, that project ended up uh, with scam. Uh, before that, we announced the community through our Twitter, through our Bitcoin talk forum and our active communities that we are not affiliated with any ICO projects. Please be aware, because the name was similar. It was not the exact same, but we did. We, we never knew. I mean, uh, who was the owner? Run away. Later on, people start asking, "Hey, is it the same? It was a ICO, but you are not. No, we are not an ICO. We are not a token. We are a cryptocurrency project. We have no." affiliation with ICO project. We have no uh, affiliation or relation with exchanges. Exchanges. This is, this is never happening. Uh, we are community. Uh, we are also communicating in the same uh, channels like our members are doing. This is also coming up time to time. I mean, uh, if we have some special channels with the exchanges during communication, no. We are doing in the same way like other uh, coin projects are doing. All members, all are using their support. I mean, the exchanges support tickets or support emails. We are doing the same. We have no other, uh, unfortunately, other channels uh, during communication. This uh, we have to tell uh, especially. Uh, this is important. Uh, um, um, and beside that, uh, what we can say, we have a long way. Uh, when we look at the, the, the projects on the market, for the ICO projects, you ask, for example, if we can compare Electra with some other projects. Yes, there are similar projects to Electra, surely. Uh, there are some ICO projects, but we are not funded like this. We don't have hundreds of million dollars. Uh, we are running on our re own resources. Uh, our biggest power is coming our, from our uh, community. And the community is the biggest power, which we believe. We believe. And uh, we are now in the top 200. We, 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 we believe that after releasing our news and developments and finalizing a couple of steps of uh, even our roadmap, we will, uh, we will be in top 100. This is what we strongly believe. Um, and we are targeting also top 20. This mm -hmm. is the, 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 the community is that much motivated about this. And we strongly believe that we will achieve in time. We are now talking about uh, maybe eight months or let's say quite one year old project. So we have long time in our, uh, in, in our uh, roadmap. Uh, we will achieve it. We will release new roadmaps with much more special developments we have some unique ideas in between i have to say uh, those are some of them are the, the will be the first time uh, in this market uh, again that's related with the payment gateway uh, we know it's never been tested we will test it as well but after we will be very sure that it works we will announce it and we really think it will bring a big it will bring big impact on this market this is clear. Uh, so we are really excited. We are really excited. Yeah. And something that I always have to add, uh, especially for people who are new to cryptocurrencies, is that cryptocurrencies are a speculative asset that mm -hmm. it goes up a lot, but it, all, it can also go down. Um, yes. And that you should never invest money, that you are not ready to lose. 
and yes. you should not put your savings into it, that you should be very careful. We're adults, we're responsible for our own investment. So if you did something wrong, unfortunate, it's unfortunate, but it's everybody's own responsibility where he invests in, right? That's correct, that's correct. What we also to tell to our members as well, please okay. afford what you can lose because this is crypto market, this is a set. Yes. And we are working in a decentralized uh, market um exchanges we don't know who are there i mean there are maybe 200 exchanges at the moment maybe or 500 we don't know mm -hmm. so uh, always best is to keep their funds uh, with themselves uh, this is not a electron specific this is not an exchange specific for any coin project they can do it and they can use the the, the, the exchange during trading and they can take your their, their money to themselves because we have the necessary tools uh, already uh, on our website. They can use them uh, and they have to carry it. They have to carry it. This is what we all do as well, personally as well. Of course, of course. So I guess um, I could thank you very, very much for your interview. Thank you very much, Marco. That, that's a good opportunity for us to express ourselves um, in more details and bring some more, let's say, explanation about questions mm -hmm. which have been asked time to time repeatedly uh, by the community. I think, or we think, that um, this interview, this, this video will bring, uh, will inform um, the community and uh, the people much and uh, will take out uh, several questions cleared uh, soon that that's that we appreciate much to you for this arranging and inviting us for this interview okay so in that case hi electra community what's up um anyway so guys if you enjoyed this video leave it a thumbs up and if you have a question or feedback um, I would like to know what do you think about Electra? Do you think that Electra is amazing? Do you think that you that Electra has potential? Will you invest in it? What are some things that you're looking for when it comes to cryptocurrencies? Because among everybody commenting, I'm giving away a small amount of Litecoin every day. So if you want to participate in a raffle, just leave a comment in the comment section down below. And thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.